Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau officially the Republic of Guinea-Bissau Portuguese, República da Guiné-Bissau, is a country in West Africa that covers 36,125 square kilometers 13,948 square miles with an estimated population of 1,874,303. It borders Senegal to the north and Guinea to the southeast. Guinea-Bissau was once part of the Kingdom of Kabu, as well as part of the Mali Empire. Parts of this kingdom persisted until the 18th century, while a few others were under some rule by the Portuguese Empire since the 16th century. In the 19th century, it was colonized as Portuguese Guinea. Upon independence, declared in 1973 and recognized in 1974, the name of its capital, Bissau, was added to the country's name to prevent confusion with Guinea, formerly French Guinea. Guinea-Bissau has a history of political instability since independence, and only one elected president, José Mario Vaz, has successfully served a full five-year term. Only about 2% of the population speaks Portuguese, the official language, as a first language, and 33% speak it as a second language. However, Creole is the national language and also considered the language of unity. According to a 2012 study, 54% of the population speaks Creole as a first language and about 52% speak it as a second language. The remainder speaks a variety of native African languages. There are diverse religions in Guinea-Bissau with no one religion having a majority. In 2008, the CIA World Factbook estimated that the population was about 40% Muslim, 22% Christian, 15% animist, and 18% unspecified or other, while a Pew Research survey in 2010 indicates about 62% Christian, 38% Muslim, and 0% for traditional African religions and unaffiliated. The country's per capita gross domestic product is one of the lowest in the world. Guinea-Bissau is a member of the United Nations, African Union, Economic Community of West African States, Organization of Islamic Cooperation, Community of Portuguese Language Countries, La Francophonie, and the South Atlantic Peace and Cooperation Zone, and was a member of the now-defunct Latin Union. History of Guinea-Bissau Guinea-Bissau was once part of the Kingdom of Kabu, part of the Mali Empire, parts of this kingdom persisted until the 18th century. Other parts of the territory in the current country were considered by the Portuguese as part of their empire. Portuguese Guinea was known as the Slave Coast, as it was a major area for the exportation of African slaves by Europeans to the Western Hemisphere. Early reports of Europeans reaching this area include those of the Venetian Alvice Catamosto's voyage of 1455, the 1479-1480 voyage by Flemish-French trader Eustache de la Fosse, and Diogo Sao. In the 1480s this Portuguese explorer reached the Congo River and the lands of Bacongo, setting up the foundations of modern Angola, some 4,200 kilometers down the African coast from Guinea-Bissau. Although the rivers and coast of this area were among the first places colonized by the Portuguese, who set up trading posts in the 16th century, they did not explore the interior until the 19th century. The local African rulers in Guinea, some of whom prospered greatly from the slave trade, controlled the inland trade and did not allow the Europeans into the interior. They kept them in the fortified coastal settlements where the trading took place. African communities that fought back against slave traders also distrusted European adventurers and would-be settlers. The Portuguese in Guinea were largely restricted to the ports of Bissau and Cashew. A small number of European settlers established isolated farms along Bissau's inland rivers. For a brief period in the 1790s, the British tried to establish a rival foothold on an offshore island, at Bolama. But by the 19th century, the Portuguese were sufficiently secure in Bissau to regard the neighboring coastline as their own special territory, also up north in part of present South Senegal. An armed rebellion, begun in 1956 by the African Party for the Independence of Guinea and Cape Verde PAIGC, under the leadership of Amilcar Cabral gradually consolidated its hold on the then Portuguese Guinea. Unlike guerrilla movements in other Portuguese colonies, the PAIGC rapidly extended its military control over large portions of the territory, aided by the jungle-like terrain, its easily reached borderlines with neighboring allies, and large quantities of arms from Cuba, China, the Soviet Union, and left-leaning African countries. 
Cuba also agreed to supply artillery experts, doctors, and technicians. The PAIGC even managed to acquire a significant anti-aircraft capability in order to defend itself against aerial attacks. By 1973, the PAIGC was in control of many parts of Guinea, although the movement suffered a setback in January 1973 when Cabral was assassinated. Geography of Guinea-Bissau Guinea-Bissau is bordered by Senegal to the north and Guinea to the south and east, with the Atlantic Ocean to its west. It lies mostly between latitudes 11 degrees and 13 degrees north, a small area as south of 11 degrees, and longitudes 13 degrees and 17 degrees west. At 36,125 square kilometers 13,948 square miles, the country is larger in size than Taiwan or Belgium. It lies at a low altitude, its highest point is 300 meters 984 feet. Its terrain is mostly low coastal plains with swamps of the Guinean mangroves rising to the Guinean forest savanna mosaic in the east. Its monsoon-like rainy season alternates with periods of hot, dry harmattan winds blowing from the Sahara. The Bijegos archipelago lies off of the mainland. Politics of Guinea-Bissau Guinea-Bissau is a republic. In the past, the government had been highly centralized. Multi-party governance was not established until mid-1991. The president is the head of state and the prime minister is the head of government. Since 1974, no president had successfully served a full five-year term, until recently when José Mario Vaz ended his five-year term on June 24, 2019. At the legislative level, a unicameral Assemblée Nationale Popular National People's Assembly, is made up of 100 members. They are popularly elected from multi-member constituencies to serve a four-year term. The judicial system is headed by a tribunal Supremo da Justica Supreme Court, made up of nine justices appointed by the president, they serve at the pleasure of the president. The two main political parties are the PAIGC African Party for the Independence of Guinea and Cape Verde and the PRS Party for Social Renewal. There are more than 20 minor parties. Military of Guinea-Bissau a 2008 estimate put the size of the Guinea-Bissau armed forces at around 4,000 personnel. In 2018, Guinea-Bissau signed the UN Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. The Revolutionary Armed Forces of the People Portuguese, Forcas Armadas Revolucionarias do Povo, or FARP are the national militaries of Guinea-Bissau. They consist of an army, navy, air force, and paramilitary forces. A 2008 United Nations Development Program census estimated that there were around 4,000 personnel in the armed forces. An earlier CIA World Fact Book figure was 9,250. The World Fact Book also estimated military expenditure at $9.46 million, and military spending as a percentage of GDP as 3.1%. The World Fact Book also reports that the military service age and obligation is 18 to 25 years of age for selective compulsory military service, 16 years of age or younger with parental consent, for voluntary service 2009. Geography of Guinea-Bissau Guinea-Bissau is bordered by Senegal to the north and Guinea to the south and east, with the Atlantic Ocean to its west. It lies mostly between latitudes 11 degrees and 13 degrees north, a small area as south of 11 degrees, and longitudes 13 degrees and 17 degrees west. At 36,125 square kilometers 13,948 square miles, the country is larger in size than Taiwan or Belgium. It lies at a low altitude, its highest point is 300 meters 984 feet. Its terrain is mostly low coastal plains with swamps of the Guinean mangroves rising to the Guinean forest savanna mosaic in the east. Its monsoon-like rainy season alternates with periods of hot, dry harmattan winds blowing from the Sahara. The Bijegos archipelago lies off of the mainland. Climate of Guinea-Bissau Guinea-Bissau is warm all year round with mild temperature fluctuations, it averages 26.3 degrees Celsius 79.3 degrees Fahrenheit. The average rainfall for Bissau is 2,024 mm 79.7 in, although this is almost entirely accounted for during the rainy season which falls between June and September, October. From December through April, the country experiences drought. 
Economy of Guinea-Bissau Guinea-Bissau's GDP per capita is one of the lowest in the world, and its Human Development Index is one of the lowest on Earth. More than two-thirds of the population lives below the poverty line. The economy depends mainly on agriculture, fish, cashew nuts, and groundnuts are its major exports. A long period of political instability has resulted in depressed economic activity, deteriorating social conditions, and increased macroeconomic imbalances. It takes longer on average to register a new business in Guinea-Bissau 233 days or about 33 weeks than in any other country in the world except Suriname. Guinea-Bissau has started to show some economic advances after a pact of stability was signed by the main political parties of the country, leading to an IMF-backed structural reform program. The key challenges for the country in the period ahead are to achieve fiscal discipline, rebuild public administration, improve the economic climate for private investment, and promote economic diversification. After the country became independent from Portugal in 1974 due to the Portuguese colonial war and the Carnation Revolution, the rapid exodus of the Portuguese civilian, military, and political authorities resulted in considerable damage to the country's economic infrastructure, social order, and standard of living. After several years of economic downturn and political instability, in 1997, Guinea-Bissau entered the CFA franc monetary system, bringing about some internal monetary stability. The civil war that took place in 1998 and 1999 and a military coup in September 2003 again disrupted economic activity, leaving a substantial part of the economic and social infrastructure in ruins and intensifying the already widespread poverty. Following the parliamentary elections in March 2004 and presidential elections in July 2005, the country is trying to recover from the long period of instability, despite a still fragile political situation. Beginning around 2005, drug traffickers based in Latin America began to use Guinea-Bissau, along with several neighboring West African nations, as a transshipment point to Europe for cocaine. The nation was described by a United Nations official as being at risk for becoming a narco-state. The government and the military have done little to stop drug trafficking, which increased after the 2012 coup d'état. The government of Guinea-Bissau continues to be ravaged by illegal drug distribution, according to The Week magazine. Guinea-Bissau is a member of the Organization for the Harmonization of Business Law in Africa OHADA. Languages of Guinea-Bissau Despite being a small country Guinea-Bissau has several ethnic groups that are very distinct from each other, with their own cultures and languages. This is due to Guinea-Bissau being a refugee and migration territory within Africa. Colonization and miscegenation brought Portuguese and the Portuguese Creole, the Creole or Criolo. Although perceived as one of the national languages of Guinea-Bissau since independence, standard Portuguese is spoken mostly as a second language, with few native speakers and often confined to the intellectual and political elites. It is the language of government and national communication as a legacy of colonial rule. Portuguese is the only language with official status, schooling from primary to university levels is conducted in Portuguese although only 67% of children have access to any formal education. Data suggested the number of Portuguese speakers ranges from 11 to 15%. In the latest census 2009-27.1% of the population claimed to speak non creolized Portuguese 46.3% of city dwellers and 10.6% of the rural population, respectively. The Portuguese Creole is spoken by 44% which is effectively the national language of communication among distinct groups for most of the population. The Creole is still expanding, and it is understood by the vast majority of the population. However, decreolization processes are occurring, due to undergoing interference from standard Portuguese and the Creole forms a continuum of varieties with the standard language, the most distant are basilects and the closer ones, acrolects. A post-creole continuum exists in Guinea-Bissau and Criolo Levee, soft creole variety being closer to the Portuguese language norm. Education in Guinea-Bissau. Education is compulsory from the age of 7 to 13. Preschool education for children between 3 and 6 years of age is optional and in its early stages. 
There are five levels of education, preschool, elemental and complementary basic education, general and complementary secondary education, general secondary education, technical and professional teaching, and higher education, university and non-universities. Basic education is under reform and now forms a single cycle, comprising six years of education. Secondary education is widely available and there are two cycles, 7th to 9th classes and 10th to 11th classes. Professional education in public institutions is non-operational, however, private school offerings opened, including the Centro de Formação São João Bosco since 2004 and the Centro de Formação Luís Inácio Lula da Silva since 2011. Higher education is limited and most prefer to be educated abroad, with students preferring to enroll in Portugal. A number of universities, to which an institutionally autonomous faculty of law as well as a faculty of medicine. Child labor is very common. The enrollment of boys is higher than that of girls. In 1998, the gross primary enrollment rate was 53.5%, with higher enrollment ratio for males 67.7%, compared to females 40%. Non-formal education is centered on community schools and the teaching of adults. In 2011, the literacy rate was estimated at 55.3%, 68.9% male, and 42.1% female. Sports in Guinea-Bissau. Football is the most popular sport in Guinea-Bissau. The Guinea-Bissau national football team is controlled by the Federação de Futebol da Guiné-Bissau. They are a member of the Confederation of African Football (CAF) and FIFA. Other football clubs include Desportivo Quelele, FC Catacumba, FC Catacumba São Domingos, FC Cupolao Gabu, FC Jaraf, FC Probis, and FC Babaki. Thanks for watching this video if you like this video, click on like button. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on the subscription button below, it's free subscription.